Just a great story today in the Canadian press. Get this, an ordained United Church minister, Reverend Greta Vosper is her name. Uh, she's got a church in Toronto. Well, she doesn't believe in God and she doesn't believe in the Bible. Here, let me quote her exactly. It's gorgeous. Quote, I don't believe in the God called God. Using the word gets in the way of sharing what I want to share, unquote. Oh, so Reverend Vosper's church isn't about the church and certainly not about God. It's about what she personally wants to talk about. So not God, not the Bible, none of that churchy stuff. Uh, seriously, here's more. Quote, is the Bible really the word of God? Was Jesus a person? It's mythology. So it's mythology, like maybe the story of Hercules and Medusa or the Cyclops. That's all it is, a myth. So why does she insist on being called a reverend? I mean, the word obviously comes from revere, to hold up as sacred or holy. But see, that's the thing. She doesn't think Jesus or the Bible or God are the center of things. She's the center of things. She's the holy one. She decides what she wants to share. According to the Canadian press, when Reverend Vosper did away with the Lord's Prayer at her church in 2008, 100 out of 150 members of the church quit. So she's got 50 people left in her church. What, do you think maybe 10 of them show up any given Sunday? And to do what? Well, take a look at her church's website. It tells you what they do. I mean, once you kick God and Jesus and the Bible out of your church, you've got to fill that void with something. Oh, and she has. So she's campaigning against a refinery in Sarnia as part of what she calls the First Nations Toxic Tour. This is what she's doing in her Toronto church. I mean, naturally, she's got a 2015 federal election kit that mentions climate justice and economic justice and food justice and gender identity, yada, 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 but nothing about Christianity or even political things like standing up for Christians being raped and murdered in the Middle East. But of course, she's all about Naomi Klein and the climate justice rally last month that I went to. She sure seems to be having a lot of atheist events at the church too. Interview an atheist at church day, eh? Well, doesn't that actually happen every day with Reverend Vosper? Well, the United Church's Toronto boss, Reverend David Allen, he's in charge of the whole Toronto area, says it's finally gone too, too far. And he started a process to review her fitness as a minister, as in she doesn't believe in God. Now, one more fella here, Randy Bowes, the guy who led the search for a reverend that chose Vosper, says he just loves her. He says there's no complaints from congregants. And she started quite a conversation that is, quote, alive and rich. Yeah, not really. Two thirds of the church didn't bother complaining because they left already. The 10 nuts who show up each week are really just new Democrats planning their next eco campaign. This is sad, really. I mean, I'm Jewish, but I believe in Christians and I believe in a strong Christianity where people actually believe in things bigger than themselves, more noble than some tawdry political campaign, more eternal than some climate justice protest, more revered than some celebrity wannabe reverend. There are a thousand places to get mushy left-wing pablum in our society. You don't need a Christian church for that. I feel bad for the hundred people who were driven out of their own church. I wonder how many of them go to another church. I bet most of them don't. I mean, if that's your neighborhood church that's been there for decades and you're in the United, United Church, are you really going to drive all over town to another place, try to make new friends? Probably not. I'm guessing the average age of the folks who walked out was 60 or 70 years old anyways. I mean, the church isn't just dying. It's being killed. It's killing itself. People want something bigger and more noble and more holy than themselves to believe in. It's why Christian denominations with strong beliefs like evangelical Christians, traditional Catholic churches, Orthodox Jewish churches, uh, Jewish synagogues, excuse me, black churches in the U.S., those are the ones that are strong, the ones with flavor, the ones that still have their saltiness. This church is a salt that's lost its saltiness. It's also why, frankly, fundamentalist Islam has an appeal. Throughout Europe, dying liberal churches go empty, and more than a few have actually been purchased and turned into Muslim mosques. I find all this deeply sad, this turning out the lights on Christianity. All our cultural history, the civilization of the West, the philosophy and beliefs that built our world, that gave us freedom, that have made us so strong, but at the same time tolerant of others. It's this whole culture is dying, not with a bang, but with a whimper. I mean, I don't know what's worse, a nihilistic world of Greta Vospers who believe in nothing other than their own self-importance or other alien beliefs that will happily fill the void that she leaves. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.